All right, it's Ron Goodall, FightHype.com. I'm here with my boy, Lonnie B. What's going on? What's going on, champ? How you doing today? Good, good, man. You know, the, the comments, they either they, they either love you. Or they hate or, or they be like, yo, man, why are you interviewing this guy? Yeah, man? it's all good. Like, listen, <laughs> I love them too, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, a lot of people speak boxing from, from emotion. People get mad when you speak facts. So. All right, I'm gonna jump hot into it, right? Because you, you always do good hot takes. Yeah. Um, Deontay Water took a... Uh, uh, a hellacious yeah. Uh, yeah. knockout yeah. Uh, from Zelai Zhang. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Adrian Broner essentially lost his tooth and yeah. lost uh, Blair, Blair Cobbs. Yeah. So um, it's almost like they're kind of in a similar era. They were in yeah. the same era. Yeah. What, what's your thoughts on those two losses? Um, you know, I think fighters, uh, I think they get success too quick. I think they, uh, the politics, since boxing is so political, they pick the guys they want to be world champion, and then they make sure it happens. It's not like uh, they get like the, an easy road to be a world champion. And when I say easy, people that box know what I'm talking about. Like uh, um, you got a manager, right? And he look at your opponents and say, you know what? This guy may be too tall for him. Let's get a guy that's short that he got the physical advantage over. You know, make it everything in, in favor for our guy to win. And I think once that protection gets taken away, we see what guys are really made of. And we see them, they can't handle pressure. They can't handle uh, constructive criticism. And we see them just crumble. You know what I'm saying? Everybody say, what happened? Well, nothing happened. He's just being who he always was. It's just that the people behind the scenes was able to hide it. And, not, and I'm not saying that they're not good fighters. But what I'm saying is what we see now is now you got to fight. Now you got to fight. You gotta, we can't baby you no more. Now, listen, we, we, we gotta match you with other good fighters. We can't look and get a guy that match your style. You gotta be the kind of fighter now where the guys we match you with, you gotta be able to adapt to his style. And we see that most fighters can't do that. We see, we see most fighters can't do that. You know, they, they used to be in a uh, baby and pampered and then once they got to fight, you know, they crumble. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, I think Deontay Wilder is a tremendous fighter. I think he had his run when he had it. But now I think that uh, now that people, he's fighting elite competition where guys can know how to elude the right hand, know how to take it away. You know, it's like, and the point I want to touch up on, you got these trainers, these guys, these guys get eight, nine weeks to train. I really want to know what the hell do they be training for? Because when they get on there and perform, you be like, what did you spend eight weeks on? And this is, and this is more, uh, I'm assuming more Malik than, because I know Broner, he was with Calvin, Kevin, and yeah. then they did like, in his camp, they did kind of like a, a switch. So Broner didn't essentially yeah, get a full but, camp but, but, with but Calvin. But here's my thing, when, you, when, when you're a world champion, you pretty much, uh, you need a trainer, but when you're a world champion at that level, it's like you really need somebody to tell you what to do. Mm. You're a world champion. You've been doing this since you was a kid. You don't mm. know what to do. At this level, like, it's no excuse for me. Mm -hmm. And you had more than enough time. Mm -hmm. You've been four-time world champion with four different weight classes, right? Mm -hmm. And you actually going to say, oh, I switched trainers? That, that's, a, that's a sorry excuse. you world champion. You've been doing this since you were a kid. You should know what to do. You just need a trainer to tighten you up. Just tighten you up a little bit. But as far as the fighting part go, you should know what to do. You've been world champion. Like, but that goes to prove my point that are you really world champion or did they make you a world champion? Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I'm just interject. Just Broner didn't quote unquote make that. It's just my optics of seeing his his training well, change. But yeah, well, either way it goes, that's not a good excuse. Mm -hmm. You don't know what to do against somebody like Blair Cobbs. I'm not saying Blair Cobbs is not a good fighter, but you've been at the top of this game for how long? You used to fighting elite fighters. You don't know what to do. How, how many big fights you've been in? And that fight was nowhere near as big as the fights that you've been in. And you mean to tell me you? That's a sorry excuse for me. Do you, um, I guess, maybe lifestyle, I guess some people would say, it's based on the fact that, you know, Blair is a guy who is always yeah, in shape. Right, but that, that, that goes to prove my point, that these guys get the easy road. So they get away with partying and drinking because they opponents. You, they know they ain't fighting nobody super hard. And they get all this money and all this fame and success for, for pretty much easy work. And they start really believing that they really like that. And then once that protection gets taken away and now they got to fight, People say, oh, what happened? He was good. He was good. Well, if you go back and look at the level of competition he was fighting, you ask yourself, was he really good or was that was just his 
was that good management. Did you feel that Deontay's um, path of fighters was also in that same kind of category? Just um, yeah, I, I think he fought a couple good guys. You know what I'm saying? I think he should have stayed with um with Breland. Mm -hmm. If you look at the transition from when he was with Breland and he then he with uh, Malik Scott, the total he looked like like he he looked, being with Malik he 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 looked like a beginner. If you look at Breland, he should stay with Breland. Breland knew what he was doing. If you look at the fight when he fought um King Kong. He looked it way better. He was moving the right way, using his jab. That's why. That's why he was able to land the right hand. Malik, I mean, um, Breland had him throwing a higher jab. Wow, wow. And that's how he, he was able to land the right hand. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what Malik Scott got him doing. He, he, I don't know what they got him doing. Like, like what is y'all for eight weeks? I really want to know what they was. I would just really love to see what they can't look like. And I like, guess like this thing with the thing where they got him doing this and then turning around. And, <laughs> Like, I, I, that's that's foolish. Like, that's why you need real, you need teachers and not fans. You you need teachers and not people just happy to be on TV. You need teachers, people who not caught up in the fame and all that. Like, look, man, we're going to win. We're, we're coming to win. All that, all that bull crap we're doing, let your hands go, man. Breland had him like that, letting his hands go. You know and what I'm saying? And Breland did the right thing. When Breland saw that he couldn't do what he told him to do, he stopped the fight, which was, which was that's somebody that love you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Malik Scott let you go out there and get decapitated. Well, I mean, I, so I'll say this. and I don't even think, and it's my personal opinion, I don't think even um, Deontay listens to everything Breland probably told him. Right? Right, but, but, but if you see how he looked in his fights, he looked at better than he looked these last couple fights. And I guess in agreement that if, if, if Deontay was able to maybe take more, from Breland, you could have been even a better fighter. Right, and my thing is this: if you look at when he was with Breland, right, that's because Mark Breland is a teacher. He knew Deontay Wilder limitations, and that's what a, te a teacher look at what you got and say, "This is what we gonna do," and it was working. Like, look, I'm not gonna tell him to do all this trick. He can't do it. <laughs> I see what you're saying. He can't do it. So what I'm gonna do? Listen, you let your hands go. You use that jab. You use that jab. Up and down. Up and down. Blow. Surprise him with the right hand. Like you thought, like like Malik Scott, you saw how he, like like look when he fought King Kong. King Kong is a southpaw. Look yeah. how he was jabbing and turning. Nah, nah. He was turning away from that. that. And right. Now look at when he with Malik Scott. When you say he had his, he used to paw his jab at times though, or it was just yeah, more excessive. Yeah, yeah he used to he used to paw his time, but he used to use it. When Zang, he wasn't even using it. He just was. You can't hurt nobody doing that, especially nobody like a heavyweight. You got to step in and come with some, some thunder with your hands up. Like I, I, I just, I just would love to see what they, what they training camp was like for all them weeks. I would just love my Malik Scott trying to, trying to like teach him stuff that, like when I saw like Clippers, like what are you trying to teach him? Like he way too far in his career for you to teach him that. He's at the end of his career. Nah, you can't teach him that now. He's been successful doing what he's been doing. Just build on it. Listen, keep letting your hands go. You the bronze bomber. Throw bombs. Don't 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 call yourself the bomber. Come out there throwing uh throwing uh bullets. No, throw bombs. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my assessment. I just think he should stay with breathing. Now and uh and a quick review on that same card, um, you know, here at the DLX boxing gym, you've been adamant that Arthur beats the shit out of Bivol. Oh yeah, uh, that performance that Bivol had, he got a stoppage. Oh god, did, did it? Did it change? No, it a little did bit. Not. Did it, it make didn't. it worse? It made it worse. <laughs> like whoever look at that fight and still think that he can beat Arthur is just insane. It's just really insane. Look how that kid was landing shots. If that kid believed in himself, he would have gave Bivol a much tougher fight. Look at the little stuff he did that was working. The shots that he would be, that he hit Bivol with. Arthur hit him like that. It is a wrap. It's a wrap. Period. And Arthur's way better than that guy he was fighting. And that guy was giving him even the commentaries was like, "Yo, Bivol needs to step it up." Like he, he, like, 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 what is he doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Even the commentaries was like, "Yo, he just need to," you know what I'm saying? Like they was even complaining. If anybody think he can still beat Arthur after that, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Like, it's crazy. I think once he get hit. It's a wrap. You know, um, you know, in addition to your prediction, yeah. you've also picked this fight week. David Benavides is going down against Alexander. Did yeah. it change? No. Nope. 
I, I'm 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 gonna stick with from what I seen from both fighters. David is used to fighting blowing up 54 and 60 pounders and being comfortable in fights, and he's so big and so tall. These guys he's fighting is my height and smaller than me, and he used to just being comfortable in fights, walking guys down right hand. You gonna get tired. You're too small, but now he fights somebody his size and big that can punch and that can box. He's gonna have to put out some work. I'm going off what I seen. Anything can happen in boxing. David might crush him. From what I seen from both fighters, I just don't see that happening. Like he gonna have to come out and fight. He gonna, he gotta come out that shell and fight. This right here, being his defense, he he gonna have to do something different. Cause Vossen is gonna be that around that that turn that he can punch, and he's big to keep David. He's big enough to keep David off. And he's been hit by guys who punch way and fought guys way better than Bivol. If you think. I mean, Benavidez. You think Benavidez punched harder than um, who they got? Uh, Adonis Stevenson. You think you think David Benavidez punched harder than Beater Beef? So I can't see David bringing nothing to the table. This and he was a bronze medal Olympian or a silver medalist. Somewhere he was an Olympian with the, the with a medal. So you think he ain't seen a, a bunch of David Benavidez? Hmm. Question this: Have David Benavidez ever seen somebody like him? They sparred. Sparring and fighting two different things. And sometimes in sparring, you go easy. I'm, I'm, I go easy on guys I know I can crush. Like, just because you got the better of me in sparring, I'll probably let you get the better of me in sparring. That's fight, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think this kid is tough. I don't think David Pressure is going to be a problem. Like, after being in there with Beater Beef, I don't think David Pressure is going to be a problem. I don't think David's punch of power is going to be a problem. I don't think David's skills is going to be a problem. I think he got way more skills than David. I just think David's been protected better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna be an interesting matchup. But David, but David is a big he's a big guy. Anything can happen in boxing, but from what I'm seeing from both fighters in their fights, I got him beating David. Um, my last question is: After this fight, we with Tank and Frank, yeah. right? Were you at the sparring? Just curious, or I was there, but I wasn't. I was like in the locker room. I really was leaving, so no, I wasn't there. Okay. Um, you know, going forward, the, the next big fight car looks like it's going to be Terrence Crawford versus Majamal. Yeah. Eminem is going to be performing on it. Yeah. Jared Anderson versus Mark Bacoli is going to yeah. be on it. Ryo versus Pitbull is going to be on it. David Morrell is going to be on the car. And that kid David Morrell fighting It's really good. <laughs> Tell, like, I, 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 I like, I, I like, uh, what's his name? Turkish, what's his name? Turkey Alashik. Turkey Alashik? Yeah. Cats off to him, man. Because I'm going to tell you why. Because he's making 50 50 fights. The last card they just threw, that's the first card in boxing I watched in a long time from start to finish. And was happy about every fight. Like, oh, okay, this is going to be a good one. 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 Was it even though Frank swept, like, swept the whole but, it, but, it, but it was good fights. It was. That's what makes boxing great. Because now we get to see who is who. It's not like America where they pick a bum off, a cab driver, and you knock him out, and they say, oh, my God, this is the greatest thing we've ever seen. Turk is out of chic, like, nah, we're going to see if you really like that. I'm going to match you with somebody on your level. On paper, that's on your level. And we're going to see who's really good. Now we got to see who's really good, who's really the future of boxing. So is Crawford Madrid 50-50 to you? It's a, it's, a, it's a tough fight for Crawford. I think, I think, it's a, I think, I think, I think Crawford wins. But it's an it's a exciting fight, and Crawford got to bring his A game. I'll put it like that. He's not matching fights where you kind of look and be like, okay, okay, okay let's, I know people are going to hate me in the comments for saying this, but let's keep it real. Out of all, how many fights David got? I think 20 something. Out of them 20 fights, how many fights did you look and say, man, this is who? I don't know, this is going to be a good one. Keep it real. Uh, well, Plants, I, I, Plants a good fight. Okay, that's one. Uh, I think people felt the the boo boo fight was going to be. On, come on, come on. I, I'm just, I'm just giving. But wait, did did I not predict the boo boo fight exactly how how it went? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but. so so guys that smart knew that that fight wasn't going. But you but you didn't you pick Plant against David though? I picked yeah. I, 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 I said <laughs> no, but I, I, no, I, I know. I'm just I'm just. But saying. I thought I thought Caleb would outbox him. And, I mean, he was outboxing. And he was outboxing. Five him. For five it's rounds. just that he got tired. Like if you don't get tired, that yeah. fight go exactly the way yeah. I say it go. But if frogs had wings, they won't bump their ass. So I ain't gonna. I, I, I got. I got. I'm, I'm wrong for that. I know. You know, <laughs> he got tired, so we can't use that. 
You know, but, but that was um, a hell of five rounds, boy. He was styling on David. He was styling. He exa- and, and think about the one he about to fight. He fighting a guy that's bigger, that punch harder, that don't get tired. Okay. That can box like that all night. But anyways, like. But Crawford match up fifty fifty. No, I don't got fifty fifty. What do you got? Sixty forty. No, I got I got him on like uh, seventy thirty for Crawford. Seventy thirty. Eighty Crawford twenty. Is a, Crawford is a beast, man. Crawford is a beast. Like. We are gonna see how good. About this kid gonna bring it. This kid's gonna bring it. Crawford gotta be sharp. This kid gonna bring it. He gonna bring it. So it's an exciting fight to watch. Like that. This whole card is coming up. I'm gonna watch every single fight. Like man, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be. It's been a while. It's been over a decade since I watched a fight from start. A card from start to finish. I say, yeah, call me when the co-main event get here. The main event. You know what I'm saying? But his fights. Turkey Al Sheik. My hats off to him. He's making boxing great again. He's making boxing great again. And if you want some real work, he'll get Lonnie B on the car and watch me destroy any 68 out there. Mm. My last thing, Matias fights, Liam Paro, your boy Teofimo Lopez and, and, yeah. and Matias. That that might that might be the that might be the banger. That might be the banger. So yeah. so so uh, But tell you the truth, Matias got some work cut out for him. This kid Liam can fight. I was in the gym with him. He got skills. He don't get tired. He, but the thing is, Matias keep coming. If if he if the kid Liam can slow Matias down, make him fight at his pace, I think he beats Matias. But Matias is that's, that's that's a tough cookie. It's a tough cookie to crack, you know. But um um, um it's gonna be a good fight. It's gonna be a good fight. The kid Liam can fight though. Don't don't sleep on him. He can fight. He can fight. But if if Matias gets past Liam, food for Teofimo Lopez or or is that absolutely yeah food. Like, cause things with Tio, I don't want to give too much, you know. But he's better than when he look when he look on TV. He's got one of them styles where oh, he easy to hit with that. And then you realize he not, but he can crack. Boom. Uh oh. Like you know what I'm saying? So, so um, yeah, I don't want to give too much, but um, yeah, I would love that fight, Matias and Tio. I would love that fight. We 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 put together a nice little a game plan and shock the world. All right, Lonnie, before I let you go, uh, outro, where can they find you? What's next? Lonnie B. The Champ on Instagram. Lonnie B. 168 on Snapchat. And Lionel Lonnie B. Thompson on Facebook. Thank you guys that love me and thank you guys that hate me. I love all y'all. And um, we got something soon. I thought I thought we was going to be able to get on this T.O. car, but, you know, things didn't come to fruition. And um, I'm in the gym and um, something going to come up. And um, you guys will see me soon. Believe that.